Matt Vaskersian back with the Minor League Pregame Show, counting you down to double-A Texas League Baseball with tonight's version of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Babe Bobo is in the glow, and he was the definition of a big offensive performer in his last game as he hit for the cycle. Oh, man, and it was so fun to watch. Cycles don't come very often, like only a few times a year, so it's a pretty special achievement. And, and you know... There's always so much pressure on that last at-bat coming in knowing what you need for the cycle. Baseball is just not one of those sports where you can do what you want on demand. So to come through like that, it's really satisfying. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. And now. Babe Bobo will come forward now, back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. First offering on the way. Hammered the other way to deep right field. And it's gone! He liked the first pitch he saw and deposits it over the wall. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now, as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Well, it's got to be getting near the point where they need to make some alternate plans with this guy up there. I mean, now that's his third home run in the series. I mean, what more do you need to see? Babe Bobo is ready to go here as we begin the third. Third baseman, Dave Bobo. Now the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. He'll get it into second, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Well, it's never an easy task to have to start an inning by going through the three, four, five guys, and obviously. No exception here because he drills this ball and he's going to wind up at second with a leadoff double. Yeah, let's go. Now you got this. Come on, sitting on something here. Come on. Get Runner going for third. And now they've got him in a rundown, but he'll be in there easily. Abraham Almonte will stand in here with two on. Following the walk and the single, do you get the sense, E.K., that they're getting to him just a bit? Maybe a little. I, I wouldn't be too worried just yet. He's shown the ability to bounce back before, but it's also looking like he might not have his very best stuff. Here's the first offering. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1-0 pitch. Not close. It's 2-0. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. And when that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Here it comes, the 3-0. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. That one's out of here. What another nickel in the merry-go-round. This one is getting ugly. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game. And it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. Now out of the dugout comes the manager as he'll make his way towards the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. Babe Bobo will get a shot here in a bases loaded situation. And you'd have to say they've got the right man for the job up here. Yeah, team leader in RBIs. He's got a shot to push that lead out even further if he could come through here. 
in the air to center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. And at the very least, that's what he's up there hoping to do. And that's hit the ball in the air somewhere. So nice job to pick up that runner from third. Although the other two runners have to stay put now with two way. Babe Bobo Babe will stand Bobo. in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Pitch on the way. And he's able to go with a fastball as this is sliced into right for a base hit. The throw into second. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. Well, these guys have been very aggressive on the fastball so far, and this is another example of it right here. You know, working the count is great and all, but if the guy's going to lay a fastball in there on the first pitch, no reason not to go after it. And he jumps all over this one. Runner breaks for third. Pitches a cold strike. The throw, not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. Some base stealers will tell you that third base is the easiest to steal because you can get a bigger lead. Other guys won't go near it. They don't want to try stealing third. They just don't like it. That was a slide step. He tried to steal, and he was saved. That was awesome. Babe Bobo will stand in now with five RBIs to his credit already and a chance to add on some more. And you know, Matt, the way he's attacked the baseball so far, why stop now? First pitch coming. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And the runner is in from second. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will score as well. And that's a big at-bat there as they've broken this one wide open. And he's out trying for third base, but he'll get credit for two RBIs here. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, it seemed like everything he touched turned to gold. He winds up with five hits in the game. Without question, a standout performance. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Carroll,